Dear colleagues, today I'd like to introduce to you the new and innovative IP-based Comexio smart home system. For me, it's one of the best solutions, if not the best solution, you can find on the market. But see for yourself. I've bought this demo board here and will explain it to you in more detail. And here it is, the Comexio Demo Board, a complete home control unit in mini format. In the middle, we have the heart of the system, the I.O. server. Next to it, we have an LED dimmer as extension module. In addition to this, we, here on the side, have switches for simulation. At the bottom, we have indicator lights that are used to simulate the outputs, such as lighting, irrigation, shutter control, etc. Then, here on the top, we have a temperature sensor on a one-wire basis and RGB LED strips for the lighting simulation. Last but not least, we have a WLAN router that, using your smartphone, tablet or computer, enables you to log in on the demo board and control it. Now we come to the I.O. server, which is connected to the router via the LAN interface to integrate it in the existing network. Thus, you have direct access to the system using your smartphone or tablet. Since the Comexio system software is on board, you can directly begin with the programming or control it without having to install anything. Next to the LAN interface, we have the power supply, where you can also connect the extension modules. Alternatively, connecting is also possible by using a ribbon cable and by means of plug and play. Then we have the analog inputs, which can also be used digitally. Here you can, for example, connect light sensors, humidity sensors or switches. Next is the KNX interface, which can be used to optionally integrate KNX switches or integrate Comexio in an existing KNX unit. In addition to this, we also have here the one-wire interface, which makes it possible to operate up to 32 one-wire sensors on an I.O. server for temperature measurement and other purposes. Then we have the universal inputs for up to 230 volts. Here, you can connect switches, etc. as well. At the very bottom, we have nine outputs, which can also be easily assigned to three-phase current, and make it possible to connect nine consumers, such as shutters, etc., to the changeover contacts. What's most interesting here is the integrated current measurement in every output, which enables you to check from any place outside your home whether or not you left the iron turned on or whether or not the washing machine is running. This is a real USP of Comexio. Here, we have integrated current measurement in every device, not only in the I.O. server or the extension modules, thus enabling a complete monitoring of your power consumption. The I.O. extension allows you to multiply the number of inputs and outputs. Thus, with one server and one extension, you will have a total of 28 inputs, for example, for switches or other sensors. A ribbon cable or conventional cable is used to connect the extension to the server. The universal dimmer provides you with six channels to dim almost all dimmable lighting appliances. Again, you benefit from integrated current measurement in every channel. The smart meter enables you to measure big consumers, for example machines, by means of converter measurement. In combination with the I.O. server, this constitutes a fully professional energy management system. The converter measurement allows you to measure any type of output or current. With the N-Ocean unit, you can extend your Comexio system by battery-free wireless components of the N-Ocean wireless standard. The universal actuator makes it possible to multiply the number of the Comexio system's outputs and is best suitable if, for example, you want to centrally control many shutters, also available with DALI extension. This was the hardware. Now, let's have a look at the Comexio software. The user interface opens after your login. As you can see here, this can be the layout of a building in which we can control the shutters, lighting intensity, etc. By clicking on the menu bar at the left top and entering, for example, the living room, we see a tile screen, also called dashboard. Here, we also have the possibility to perform various controls, such as, for example, the heating with a swiping motion, 
or the indirect lighting in the living room, in this case from the demo board. In addition to this, you have the possibility to perform various light scenarios, in other words, assigning certain brightness levels or colors to different lighting devices. The visualization shown here is only one example. There are no limits with respect to arranging the tiles. Everything is freely programmable. We'll now go to the Comexio Studio to show you how all this is programmed. Let me now show you how quickly you can create an impulse switch circuit. All that you need to this end is an input, an output, and the matching logic module. Just connect and start the function chart. That's it. Now we can quickly produce a visu for this. I have already prepared the dashboard. You just add a visu module. Adjust the necessary settings. Enlarge a little bit. And so on. And here we are. And can now also switch from the visu. Of course, this was just a small fraction of what Comexio makes possible. For more programming examples, please go to www.comexio.com. Let's now turn to the principle of Comexio. As I already mentioned, the I.O. server is the heart of the Comexio system, and up to 25 extensions can be connected to one server. In addition to this, it is also possible to cross-link the servers via IP. Normally, sensors are connected via a CAT7 or Justy line because when working with the Comexio system, the sensor systems such as switches, wind sensors, rain sensors and light sensors are installed at a 24-volt level so that it is possible to reduce the wire cross-section. The consumers are normally connected via a NIM line. Possible consumers would be, for example, sockets. Lights, switchable dimmable, ventilation, heating, sun blinds. Comexio requires a future-proof central wiring. In other words, all of the sensor and actuator cables go into the switching cabinet. In order not to install too many cables, we recommend using one distributor per floor. The server also makes it possible to set calendar and time functions as well as logic functions. In addition, of course, it also supports the control via tablet or smartphone, not only from inside your home, but also from any other place outside. Then, a finished distribution board could, for example, look like this. OK, I hope you now have a first impression of this building automation system and wish you much fun and success in the installation of the new Comexio system. <laughs>